bunch of new singles as well as a brand new EP called Departing Reality. We'll also be teasing a few new songs that we've been working on and that we are planning to release next year, so definitely stay tuned for that. Let's get right into it, starting with our latest song called You Miss Me. Let's go! Just wanna hear you say it We both know it's true Just wanna hear you say it Cause I know that you do Yeah, you say goodbye And I think I know why Why you still call me up After all of the stuff You miss me, you miss me No, you can't forget me And nights like tonight I'm still with you
song was the first release of 2023, and we've had such an amazing response from you guys on this record. We love playing this one out in our live shows. This is Firestone, Tomorrow Never Comes. Yo, morning guys, what is up, Zach, let me open my YouTube chat, every single time I stream I have to open my YouTube chat, individually, why YouTube cannot just have a chat that is continuous between streams, I think that they are a small, small studio, it's all good, um, Your fall from grace is unpleasant to watch. Shut your fucking mouth when you don't know what you're talking about. It tends to make life easier. <laughs> Wait, what? Someone made del so someone made Pluto a little upset today. Am I gonna play Draven today? You know, I think if it's a good matchup, I'm kind of down. What is, uh... Wait, is there a Reddit mod drama right now? I haven't eaten anything today, actually. I just woke up. Literally. No, I'm actually done with BOE. I've been playing Valorant lately. Yeah. I don't know. I just kind of got burnt out. What's my Valorant EDPI? I actually don't know. I get. Oh wait. So I guess it's it's DPI multiplied by cents, right? So it's uh eighteen hundred times zero point four, which is seven twenty. Hmm. 
What is hump day? Nuke Redemption, thanks for the 33 months. What is this? It's hump day, my dudes. I'm not watching this. What is this? Okay, I am watching this. I am watching this. Oh, guess what day it is. Guess what day it is. Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is. Oh, come on. I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Listen, guess what today is? It is Wednesday, my dudes. This is so dumb. Ronnie, how happy are folks who save hundreds of dollars switching to Geico? I'd say happier than a camel on Wednesday. Hump day! Get happy, yeah. get Geico. They didn't even say that it's hump day a single time. What? Wait, this is a classic? I've never seen that before. Have you guys seen that that ad before? I have not. Shit, my hair is like annoying me. Wait, it's a vine? Bro, guys, like vine vine might have died while I was still in like elementary school. And I'm 30. It's a guy who dude, I I don't remember it. What? Maybe I just missed it. Straight up. Okay, well, it seems like a lot of people know it. Okay, it's a, I, know, I know it's an edited version. Okay, that makes sense. Dude, my hair is like bugging me. Um, uh, zillion with what? Gin? Jinx? Smolder? Oh, uh, yeah, but I played a lot of Smolder recently. Ooh, top Skarner with Ignite. I've seen top Skarner with Flash. And it's kind of crazy. You can, like, fucking kidnap people into your turret. You have a lot of solo kill potential and gank pressure with your jungler. Do tanks be able to 1v1 ADCs? Uh, I would say in order of 1v1 ability, I would say definitely yes. Um, tanks should definitely be able to beat ADCs 1v1 because you're solo laning. You're getting solo XP, but AD carries splitting farm or splitting XP with support. Late game, no, but I would say like average situation, yeah, probably. You should you should lose. I think that's just the nature of bot lane having two guys farming uh, one lane. You're just gonna have that duo be individually weak compared to a solo lane. I bring the heat. I'm free maxing right now. Check this out. I come up with my own stream titles. Do 
I just play aggro duelist? I either just I either just completely send it playing a duelist or I just lurk with omen or I just lurk a lot. Well. It's kind of fun to just like fucking hold W and just see what happens. Are there champs you genuinely enjoy playing that have fallen to the wayside? Uh, the champs I really enjoy playing that have fallen to the wayside would be Lucian, Kaisa. No, not Kaisa, sorry. Zaya. I fucking misspoke. Like Caitlyn, Lucian, and Zaya. I'd say those three have <coughs> some of the most enjoyable ADCs. Like, I, I personally don't enjoy playing Smolder all that much. Like, he's pretty fun. But he's not like my my favorite, or he's not even in my like top several favorites. Ah, fucking bastards! Let's see, who are my favorite champs in this game to play? I like playing Lucian the most. I like Kai'Sa and Zaya. Like... Like... Most fun champs ADCs. Okay, and then it's like... Caitlyn... Hmm... Ezreal... Callista... Samira is pretty fun. And then what? And then there's like the kind of like more boring chill champions. There's like, I think Jin is honestly pretty low for me. It's like Jinx, Jin, Varus, Ash. Actually, Ash, Ash is actually pretty high up. Ash is pretty high up. I'm gonna switch Ash with Samira because I don't actually really like playing Samira that much. And then at the very bottom would be like the super boring ones like MF. MF is in there. Draven. Bane is pretty not fun. Zeri's pretty not fun. Nyla. Yeah, Nyla's not fun. Which is probably in this like middle tier right here. Which is pretty fun. Which is pretty fun. I'll put him like high mid tiers. And then for like Aphelios is like down here, I think. Who else am I missing? I'm missing Tristana. Tristana's in here. Tristana's really fun, in my opinion. Um, oh, Sivir is down here. Sivir's really not fun. I'm missing a couple champs. No, actually, I think I hit them all. Kog'Maw. I'm missing Kog'Maw. Um, one sec. Kog'Maw, I think Kog'Maw is actually really fun. So this is like S tier, this is like A tier. This is like B tier. This is like C tier. I think Kog'Maw might be in this one over here with Varus. Varus and Kog are like pretty close for me. I don't think Senna's an AD carry. Neither is Quirky. Do I prefer short range AD carries? Yeah. It's way more It's way more like difficult to pilot those kinds of champs. I bring the heat.
Paw greater than Samira is major cookage. Paw greater than Samira in terms of fun for me because I don't think Samira on average is actually that fun. I feel like one game out of like four games, you know, like maybe like 25% of the games that you play, you'll have like a really fun moment. It's way too dependent, exactly. Like, Kog'Maw has those, has like that moment where you're just popping the fuck off and just doing insane damage. Way more percentage of the time than the Samira gets like a pentakill and gets like a really cool reset play. That's, that's how I feel. I don't, I don't think about like the highlight highlights that much. I think about more like the average game that I'm ha how much fun I'm having. Nyla is fun. Nyla's not fun to me because she's just useless. I put Zeri pretty low on the list. I, I find her to be incredibly boring, actually. She's, like, pretty difficult to play mechanically, but she's not actually, like... To me, she's not really that fun because every Zeri player does the same thing. How good is Smolder? I think Smolder is pretty good. I mean, they picked Zeri, so I'm getting a pretty easy matchup, assuming Pike doesn't smurf on us. I don't really feel the strain, no. I feel more wrist pain when I'm playing Valorant. Valorant fucks up my wrist sometimes. Oh god, my hair is like so in my fucking eyes, it hurts. I don't know why Skarner doesn't have Flash, but let's see. Fuck, I missed four creeps so far. I got a good amount of stacks earlier. I have more sustain than they do.
My hands are getting slippery from fucking potion I was using earlier. Probably warded. Our youngler is dead. Why not TP? Uh, I just feel like heal is so OP against people in solo queue. You can just bait. I mean, like, yeah, you can play super passively with TP and just focus fully on stacking. Focus fully on, like, playing the macro game where I'm not fighting all in, but... It's just boring. I think if I was playing a real game, like, with actual something on the line I would probably consider going TP as in yeah I would I would almost certainly do it oh shit oh no what's happening our jungler is level three Checking fruits. Scared a bit for XI being here, but. I think I don't base until I have my thing. He has ghost, so it's gonna be pretty hard to kill him. Ow.
I should have my item faster than him. Pike's probably on the way though. Ow, dude, I am playing horribly around these timers. <laughs> Vanguard's kind of getting fucked. I think I just need to play safe. Help our jungler here. Oh, God. Stacks here, and I can't dodge to save my fucking life. Zary W's are just smacking me. Wanna fight? Kinda scary. We're dying. Awkward. I could have healed him though. I didn't think he was gonna die immediately. I wasn't really in range to heal at the start. And a minion, anything. Two stacks. Did I base? I have a free base timing right now. Seems good, yeah. I'll take it. Track Lowdown and Ellie Duhay's Money on the Dash. We love playing this one out wide. Kinner has 68 CS. Yeah, but their mid also is not farming that much. I got a lot of plates, unfortunately. and 10. Need to find a way to heal. Oh, here we go.
Oh, spooky. Being in that choke. Ow. Fucking cancer, man. Okay, I need to push this wave in base. Or do I? I'm kind of advantaged here. Are we? On him. They're on him hard. They're moving. Can make some time, maybe? Trading one for one, I mean, like, in that situation, I think it's pretty good. 3v4 trade one for one, and then their tempo gets delayed a bit here. I'm just gonna push bot in and swap mid. Banger fight, banger fight. Maybe if I dodge, I mean, I think if I dodge a pike, you. That was awkward as shit. They're not that good, honestly. Damn shame this game so far. I'm pretty behind. We need to have a good fight. Our comp is pretty bad, honestly. Azir is just gonna shit on this guy in side lane. I don't think Kindred can do anything. Just gonna push.
Okay. We might have to give third Drake. I don't know. If we fight one, though, it'll be fucking huge. I'm gonna go take the red. I'm kind of big. I don't think it gets any better than this. This one. Let's go. Let's just fight it. Oh, what the fuck? I'm on spike and win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. What a play. What a play by Bob Timer. What a play by Bob Timer, dude. What was that? He eat into the Skarner and then got insta wall stunned. What the fuck was that? He eat into the Skarner and then got instantly stunned on the turret. Yeah. That e hitbox looks fucking goofy. To me, it doesn't look right. Zillion has five kills right now. I'm scaling up, guys. With 220, or 204, I mean. 21 away. Oh, Skarn is getting ganked. Can he do some bullshit through the walls? Maybe not. Damn, you can just hop in whenever the fuck you want. That's how that works still? So troll. Baron, Baron, Baron. I have heal. Yeah, that was weird. I don't think you should be tanking as Kindred. That's just my opinion, but.
Oh my god, he almost kills me there. What the fuck? What is this champ? Dude, Rek'Sai is broken or what? He's like killing me on accident. He's like ulting somebody else and just accidentally splashing me from like 300 range away from the target he's attacking, fucking killing me. Your scale IRL is broken too. <laughs> that was actually made a funny joke. It's actually a good one. I trolled, I trolled. My bad, my bad. I didn't I didn't see the, the Rengar TPing in and ulting. What the fuck? Just surprise cat. Surprise cat. Fuck. They're gonna get soul points. It's okay though. They're Drake. Nothing compared to our scaling. Don't worry, I'm only 4 out of 10, not scaled yet. Fuck! Who gave shutdown to? The Rangar, right? Yeah, he killed me. Ah, uh, I hate playing versus Rangar, bro. I don't know why, but lately this champ is just shitting on me in solo queue. He's such a good solo queue champ. The random factor that he has is so good. I have quick plays in base. I might as well go and buy it. I need to maybe get another tank item. I'm thinking either Zonia's or I could do like Jack Show. Jack Show's pretty common on this champ. Could do like I don't know. Landry's not really a tank item. Just gives HP. GA is good. Could also just go BT for more damage and a bit of tankiness. See, I feel like this Rangar's build is not really one-shotting me though. It's just because I was low that fight. So maybe BT is actually the way. Oh, don't don't die inside lane right now. Careful. Weak sided, sir. I'm scared, like I have no vision. You need to back off. It's not really worth the risk. Oh. We have no wards.
I'm gonna get red. I think this is actually pretty important. Five man red for Baron. this right okay oh spooky who got the double stun off there was it Jax that was spooky I should not have stayed in that bush with my team I was like fucking horror movie right there I'm like they have a word in this bush right and then they just flash engage on us because we're all on a ward. That was crazy risky. If I died instantly, we would lose the fight. Woo! Can't kill them. <laughs> yeah, I just one shot him from half. Nice. And plus 50. That was nice. That was a nice game. That was a nice one. Tempo's actually played well, and he made a funny ass joke. Fucking shit on Bob Timer right there. Did you ever watch the SNL skit about your game at Worlds 2019? No, I haven't. What is that? Oops, sorry. Wrong mix. We are Vice Stone, and you are listening to the special 10 year anniversary edition of our 2022. I like this song a lot. What is it? Esports reporter SNL. Let's check this out. Also, I have food. I have food outside. I'll be right back. I think I'm going to eat real fast. Never mind. It's not here yet. 15 minutes. Top ranks team at claiming their nexus in only 32 oh this is a wait i'm sorry random tangent time random tangent time completely random tangent time this is just completely reminds me like okay uh, Somebody just linked me this SNL skit about one of our games at Worlds 2019, right? And it just reminded me of something. Okay, let's go to Thorne's Twitter really fast. Let's go to Thorne's Twitter really fast. So yesterday he like... Said some crazy shit he said. Let's see here. Kind of says it all that Dublift thinks if a pro player tells you something, you are obliged to believe it at face value. Wild considering he has lied so many times on camera, it's bonkers. Okay, so don't know what the first part of this really means. The second part is just a complete lie. I like tell me like when like where I'm sure I've lied like here and there unintentionally, but I've not like just looked straight at the camera and just like lied to people's face. There's no way. Um, show me the show me the times, please. And he's saying, like, Monty's been a league expert, but my 89 IQ brain can't possibly ever become, uh, thinks I can't, he can't ever become an expert again. Meanwhile, Devil's played pro for 10 years, was still trading a minion for the game. Let's see here. He was just, he was just like tweeting some crazy stuff. Devil talks a big game for someone who has the hands, who was the hands of the, to the brain of Chouster, Afro, and Core JJ. I don't even know what to say about that because 
there's literally documented evidence that I was uh, like on squad and on TSM Legends that I was one of the main shot callers on all the championship winning rosters that we've made. Like it's it's like ir- like it's right there if you just watch the episodes of the playoffs matches and the finals. I'm making so many of the decisions when it comes to draft strategy, level ones, in-game decision making, like when to fight, where to fight. Anyways, it's all good. I get it. I get it. He he has his argument about like trying to make this entire argument go down to um, just like personal attacks uh, because there is no way you can justify like none of this has anything to do with the fact that Monty accused BDS of cheating. Where's the evidence? That's really fucked up. If I was a competitor and I, you know, competed and somebody accused me of cheating, I would be pretty upset. And I would ask, show me the evidence. You're saying you're, these are some pretty serious accusations. So show me the evidence. Anyways, this is all to say that this guy who linked me this SNL skit just reminded me of something crazy. This game. Sorry, one sec. Inevitably. This game is TL vs. Damwon 2019 group stage. And guess what? You can see the level. This is in 2019. And guess what? We are picking Scion. An invade coming in on and the top of the map. Sion is taking Raptor Camp. It's a land swap. Loki. Wow. They must be cheating to have predicted this strategy. Checks notes five years later. <laughs> like, guys, what an insane accusation to make when this strategy is like, it's everywhere. This is like basic stuff. And, and the conspiracy theory of like, it was, if it was so obvious G2 was going to lane swap, all the experts must have tweeted out as much after the draft or when they spotted Mickey X in vision, enough said, like he just like drops the mic, like, dude, so obvious that this is, this is like a fucking inside job. I mean, anyway, sorry. That was a complete tangent because somebody linked this thing and it just reminded me that we did this strategy in 2019. Not see that coming. Wow. Our regular esports reporter Jake Sussman is out today taking the PSATs. Good luck, Jake. Yeah. Filling in for him is Laszlo Holmes, who usually covers the Knicks for us here at MSG. Uh, how you feeling down there, Laz? Uh, confused. Uh, to be honest, when they asked me to cover the League of Legends tournament, I assumed it was a basketball game with NBA legends. This is not that. Uh, it is a computer game kind of Asian kids have been doing while black kids were, were inventing hip hop. Okay, I did not watch this, but honestly, I, it's, it's hard for me to watch like skits about esports. No? Like, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough for me. I gotta watch it the whole way, dude. I don't know. Like, the laugh track, the laugh track, like, takes me out of it. It's really good. Okay, maybe, maybe. Maybe I'll watch it later. I'm a part of it? I'm in it? Oh. Oh, it's a live audience? I'm so troll, bro. Yo. I forgot. SNL is live. Oh my god, I thought it was List Mid and Karma bot. It's fucking Lissandra support because we have her con. Well, that's not good because I don't have cleanse. Saturday Night Live. Yeah. No, that, that would make sense. That would make sense.
I've seen a lot of people going W level one on Twitch. I think I might try it. This is a good matchup for it, in my opinion. Oh, their jungler is so much stronger than ours early. Dodge. Dodge that. Oh. What am I doing? Based? Okay, we're so back. He based, and I believe he wants to just base and buy an early coal. I am not a big fan of this strategy for him. I think in the end, I'll end up pretty ahead. I'll show you why. I need a flash, guys? I don't know. That was probably not it, huh? Probably didn't need to. Fuck. I mean, it was clean. We got two for zero, but... Uh, felt like I panicked a bit there. They're 80 flashed. There was no way out featuring Captain Stell. And before that, you heard a track Let Me Feel. You might hear more amazing vocals from Captain Stell later in the mix. Up next, you voted for a Spark remix of Captain Stell.
want to die to Zen. What? I think. Chilling. I'm glad that you went for the realm, honestly. There was not much to do down here. Fucking bastards. Oh, he's dead. Nice. I got mid then. Nice. He's dead too. Very nice. Wait, what? Nice. Oh, is he gonna greed for plate? Might kill him then. Mind. Not gonna kill him.
Nice. Things flash there. Rubbies, they are. I think I'm just gonna push one wave base. I can't make it to Grubs. Cross map for me. Fuck. Just this flash. Just this flash. Oh, we kill everyone top side though. I mean, it's something. I could have flash autoed and maybe killed. I wasn't really sure about how much damage I was doing there. I'm just gonna finish turret and base. Wow. I have a lot of gold right now. I have, I have 2300 in my pocket, fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. Infinite money hack. I'm rich, yeah. Oh, they steal? Come here. We go top side. Garner's in there. Slaughter's kind of annoying. I need to buy QSS this game, most likely.
wasted my ulti. Damn it. That's not good. I need a base. I greeted for an extra wave. I don't have ulti, so it's better for me to just base. Give, give, give. I will not waste my ulti like that again. Yeah, yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's play aggressive here. Don't have flash though. I can just get fucked up here. I like Kraken. I like Kraken into IE more than I just, I like going straight IE. Cause you only have 20 crit. Feels troll to go IE when you only have 40 crit. Does he have ghost on? Oh, he does. Wait, he's dead though. Let me have a sniff. Let me have a sniff. Aww. Sandra is like holding her ult for me every fight, right? Is that what's happening? I can't really tell. That fight, uh, Jinx flashed over the wall to get out of my ult. I think maybe I shouldn't have opened with ulti knowing that she might use flash. I think I'm just gonna give Jinx a good old solo bolo right here. Get. That's 
that you get for breathing on my turf. Um, I'll just do the thing, alright. Come on. Yo, we kill these. Oh! He ran away. He's gonna eat at the... Oh! oh yo! Fucking Scorner tried to abduct me. This bastard. Hey Delft, I hope you're well. I just pray that you'll continue to being such a great inspiration to the community. I'm tearing up while typing this man. You're goaded for real heart. Feel strong, man. Not a paid chatter. Not a paid chatter. Wipe those tears off of your eyes. I know that that's how a lot of you feel, but uh, you know. It's not something I signed up for being a living, breathing legend of humanity. But it's an irresponsibility and a burden that I accept. I'll be back. So humble. What a guy. I am literally the most humble person you'll ever meet. Some people would might even call me the god of humility. Another reason why the tears cannot stop rolling. Um Okay, guys. What should we watch while I'm eating? Oh, you know what I used to watch a lot? Fuck. I forgot the name of it. It's um, it's like a Korean montage channel. Um, and I used to watch it all the time on stream, but it was like a year ago. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Marvel Theories. Yeah, that's the one. That's the Korean. No, it's not Today on the Korean Super Server and it's not Lol Dobby. It's like just montages. No, no, no it's not. It's not that one. It's Lol Nom. Thank you. Non Dare knows. He's a knower. Dude, this guy? Oh my god, he stopped making videos. Bro, his stuff was so fucking goaded. I guess it was just a lot of work and... Like, realistically, though, like, the amount of money he's making on each video is, like, pretty, pretty insane. Okay, let's watch his last video ever. Th I'm telling you guys, this guy... Okay, I'm hyping him up a lot. You'll just see. His videos are fucking sick. I need to eat my chicken, though. Here, I'll show you guys my food before I, I start digging in and watching YouTube. Oh, so, I got a rotisserie chicken place. Uh, here we have some chicken, obviously. So, a uh, leg, a... Uh, I think that might be a, the breast. I'm not sure. But, you know, it's got everything. The thigh, leg, um, wing, and breast. And uh, here we have some sweet potatoes. I, my camera work is disgusting. Like, I need to be killed. Um, sweet potatoes. I think, like, roasted. Some mac and cheese. But it's kind of like healthified mac and cheese. Like, it doesn't seem like it has that much cheese on it. Anyways, got to eat healthy. Good for the brain. Good for the body. Mac and cheese though might not be uh not might, might not be the best option. There we go. Dude, this camera work is is like out of a fucking movie, no? Are you guys seeing it? This guy's editing is is next level. Wait, what's going on with my Okay, he has a new channel. I'll check it out. Let me eat up a bit. It's 
Sorry, one sec. One sec, one sec. It's just too epic, but I, I'm, I'm getting distracted because I don't have a... Uh, I don't have a fork. What the fuck? Got a giant roll of paper towels and a fork just like God wanted me to. This music goes hard as fuck. Wait. Wait, what? Flash, EQ, W, hold on. Flash, EQ, EQ, oh my god, he got an auto in there? That was nasty, look at this, he got an auto in there, watch this, I'm gonna slow it down. That's, that's hard to do. Oh, the sound is really dank. EQ, auto, and then W, that's, that's actually mechanically like pretty hard to weave in. It's a very, very tiny fraction of a second. Nasty play, nasty play. Oh my god. Irelia, my eyes. But when Irelia makes a cool play, you guys know that it's completely expected, right? It's just like, Irelia's just gonna do the same bullshit that every Irelia does. Like, okay, now jump to every single minion for healing. Oh yeah, wow. Wow, I was so impressed there. Like, come on, bro. It's all the same play. W, Q to every single minion, auto the guy down. Does he dodge all the Zeri autos? Wow, that was funny. That was funny. Papega aim. I miss Gale Force. I miss Gale Force. Feel strong, man. Holy, I miss Gale Force so much. This song is so fucking sick. Oh, the spacing is... Oh my god, the spacing is just too crazy! It's just too crazy! back in so you don't get hit by the box. Let's see it. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. His ankles got broken. Alpha AD. Guys, there's no way that this is not an American or European player. His name is Alpha AD. Whoa. Rat IRL? 
Oh, Gale Force. I miss Gale Force. Holy chills, I miss Gale Force. That was Rad IRL's base plan? Insane. Oh! Whoa! Was that not the most anime 1v1 you've watched? It's fucking Pizang, Yasuo, Challenger, one trick from Korea versus Faker on Akali. Like, that's like so fucking anime. so cool bro that was so cool that was so cool bro no gale, gale force was i think gale force was seriously some of the most peak um skill expression you can see on adcs it was absolute peak i mean bro okay it's like whatever when you when you when you he gales in he does auto he goes for ulti here it gets galed right that's like pretty cool the rest of it is also so fucking cool. Flash the rocket. Oh my god, it's just, it's so cool. <laughs> it's just so anime, dude. Where's the link? I'll link it after, I'll link it after. Ooh. Wait, that wasn't really that. Was that something? Was that something? Okay, what's happening? Who wins, guys? Place your bets. I think Yone wins. I think Yone wins. Yone is so OP of a champion. Dude! Dude! No, Yone is bullshit. Yone is bullshit. Did you see him go over that wall three times in four seconds? Two levels down, well played. Nah, this video is godlike, right? Like, it's really hard to for me to get hyped watching a League of Legends montage. We've seen it all. Fucking, a lot of us, we play this game. You know, for me, like, fucking 14 years. You guys probably played multiple years. Like, do you get hyped watching montages? But, like, this one? This guy is, like, so talented. Jovi was Jovying. Okay, let's see. How does how does Jace get out of this? Wait. Dude, here's just running. Dude, he's like he's like two levels up on Graves. He wins these, right? Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my God. I mean, I, I mean, he's like really fed. What are you doing? What is Lucian doing? Bro, Lucian just went AFK at the start of the flip. Who am I watching? Am I watching the Yumi? Oh, I'm watching the Kiana. Dude, it's so cool that you don't know like what's gonna happen based on the flip. At first I thought it was gonna be a Lucian highlight reel. Then randomly it's a Kiana highlight. Like I like that I didn't know until the end. Nice, he was invisible the whole fucking time! I legit thought it was gonna- I legit thought it was gonna be a Yumi highlight at some point, because I was like, dude, the Yumi's been a part of the clip since the very beginning. Oh, okay, it was- it was- it was alright, it was alright. It was alright.
Oh my god, there's more? No way there's more. There's no way you there's no way there's more. There's Oh my god, there is more. Okay. Okay, okay. It was pretty cool at the end. He wins these randomly, right? He just wins these because Fiora is just such a- Oh, one, two. Wait, what? He didn't do it. He's not Chinese. Bro, come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh maybe he is Chinese. Maybe he is Chinese. Maybe he is Chinese. Oh, God. I mean, they, sh they shit themselves. They shit themselves. You know, they shit themselves. Like, that was kind of like- that was kind of disgusting. Whoa. Whoa, the snapback is actually, it's like hurting my, it's like. Okay. All right, let's see it. How can you make a Jin highlight reel? Oh, he exhausted somebody. Well, that's. Oh, oh! okay, okay. I'm telling you guys, Gale Forest needs to come back. I don't care how much it costs. It costs 10 grand. I'm, I'm buying it. It can cost me my third mansion. We need that shit back. Bro, he's attacking at the speed of light. Bro, he's attacking at the speed of light. Is this allowed? Why is he so tanky? Why is he not taking damage? Yeah. Wait, I think I've watched this guy before. I think I've, I think I've I've, I've watched a, a highlight clip of this guy. He's not GM anymore. I think he's Challenger. This uh, this this Riven player from Korea. Oh wait, what? He's from NA? Never mind. I don't. I've I have no idea. I think NA is better than Korea, anyways. I know that guy, he's racist. That was sick. That was sick. That was sick. That was sick. Watch this again. He E's, he E's in, and then he R, and then he flashes away. That was cool. That was, that was cool. APA kills him there. You're not wrong. He's cosplaying the Grom? No shot, no shot, no shot. Oh my god, no shot. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, the uh the, the YouTube channel name is LOL NOM, all caps. And um, yeah, honestly, this guy makes amazing videos. You guys should support his channel. But I think this is his old abandoned channel. Can somebody link me his new channel? He abused the Rek'Sai vision thing, yeah. Okay, okay, got it. My, my hands are kind of greasy right now, so I can't really type. Fuck, I know, right now I wish I had that like um that voice enabled shit where I could be like, okay Google and then like search. Use my nose? Hold on, I have something better. I'll use something else. Okay. <clears throat> v um oh shit. <laughs> you know, I'll use my knuckles. I'll use my knuckles. V Vlad. Whoa. Fuck. Fuck. How do I do a one? God damn it. I, I can't. I can't use two. Somebody link it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're a real homie. You're a real one. Let's see. Let's see what this guy's been cooking lately. Let's see his most popular. 
Mind-blowing plays that take it all the way to the grave. Why did I 10 finger fist my food? It's kind of too loud, huh? Yo, you try eating rotisserie chicken without using your fucking hands. What? That works? I guess that makes sense that that works. He sends the shockwave even if he doesn't move. Okay, that was nasty. That was nasty. Guys, he's gonna do the thing where he W's all the minions and then he Q's every single minion. I promise you guys, every Aurelia highlight is the same thing. We're really putting T we're really putting Saskio versus Solo in this. Okay, okay, you know what? Okay, let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. Okay, okay. What the fuck am I watching? <laughs> what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> No way, this is real. How is he jumping two times a second? How is he jumping so much? Like, yeah, I know he can jump from bushes, but how does he jump so, like, does he need attack speed to do that? No, I don't think the clips are sped up. Oh, it's just an easy win. It's just an easy... Oh my! That was hot. That was hot. That was hot. And the crank just comes and starts beating his ass. Okay, let's see. Katarina. What can Katarina... Oh, 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 oh. He dashes out. He doesn't go for the reset. Oh shit, now he goes to the reset. Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck is this champion? <laughs> Alright. Alright. You recognize this music, guys? It's, like I, it's familiar somehow. There, Yumi, who cares? I kind of feel that, yeah. Oh. Dropping the nuke? Dropping the nuke? Level 3 versus level 6. Level 3 versus level 6. Oh! Nah, you got fucked. You got fucked. No, he ha he he leveled up and then and then pressed gold. 89 P13 rocket. Let's see what you're made of. Holy shit! Is this not an Avengers song? Randuin. Now what? Now what? Take his flash, use it to do damage? Wow, you predicted the... Okay. Okay. He predicted flash with Q. 
That was sick. Okay, that was that was one of the that was one of the coolest things I've that was one of the coolest things I've seen, guys. That was one of the coolest things I've I've ever seen. Like that was so sick. Oh, co like come on, guys. That was that was insane. That was insane. <laughs> that was totally insane, right? Like, like, dude, he played that so good. Like, we gotta watch this again. We gotta watch this again. It's it's too good. Look at this. He follows. He kicks his ulti. Buffer kick on the ulti. He ward jumps to dodge Yone's Q3 and then takes his Q2 back in. It was literally perfect. He could not, that Lee Sin could not have done anything better. It was just amazing. Whoa. Okay, so I'll explain what happened here. In this case, this Yone is probably pretty good at Yasuo too, or he just knows what Yasuo is looking for. So Yasuo has Q3, right? So if you were Yasuo, what would you do here? You would EQ on this on this range minion right here, and then you would flash so that it was an instant knockup because that's a mechanic. You EQ on this and you flash so it's an instant knockup on Yone. And Yone knows that's happening, so he flashes that instant knockup because if he gets hit by it, he's dead. Not only the flashing it, but like flashing it in because he just wants to take the all in afterwards. One v two, Giga Chad. Fucking respect. Fucking respect. And he's just BMing them afterwards. But I forgot to say Yone's bullshit. My bad. My bad. My mistake. My mistake. I I will not I will not forget to do. Wait, what just happened? What just... Oh my god. He fucking flashed away from the Zed while ulting so that Zed can't immune his ult with his ult. Because if he, if he doesn't flash, Zed will ult and... Dodge the damage of Viego's ult. That's so smart. And I've never seen anyone do that. I've literally... Only Viego King, a mid-Viego main, would do that play. Because now, Zed has no target for his ulti. He can't immune it anymore. I was like, what the... F Dude, these plays are fucking sick. Fiora things. I mean, you have Gordrinker. It's Gordrinker Fiora. It's Gordrinker Fiora. Cut the clip. It's I've seen enough. It's Gordrinker Fiora. Like, I've seen it a million times. But that Viego one, though, was seriously impressive. I've never seen that play. I didn't even know Viego could do that. Straight up. I did not know Viego could flash while he's ulting. Because I there's no point to do that. Like, you almost would never want it. But what happens here? Yo, yo, okay, okay. <laughs> Quick 200 years. That was pretty cool though. I miss him so much. Does Silas? I mean, it's a tower dive. Of course, Silas can outplay this. No, Viego. No, Leeson got robbed. No, Leeson got robbed. Leeson got fucking robbed. I think what Leeson did, he deserved a medal, right? That was clean. And he got robbed. It, he flashed the Q2 damage. Yeah, he flashed the Q2 damage. Good job by the Silas. But Viego, but but Leeson got robbed. The timing is really hard. I don't think anyone can. I don't think anyone can consistently flash Lee Sin Q two damage. I don't even know if that mechanic is still in the game. 
Oh, is he gonna do the thing? Oh, chills, literal chills. <laughs> Not the triple ranged minion pew heal. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. Damn, he's beating their ass. He's beating their ass. Dude, I think this Rakan needs to be killed. Oh, oh! Action hero shit. Action hero shit, actually. Just like his name. Rakan has zero hands or what? <laughs> Looking a bit like my Rakan right there. What happens, guys? What happens? Who do you think wins? I think... I think Yasuo wins because he's a cooler montage champ. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, he deserves it. He deserves it. Jax just face planted that play. Oh? What the? F Unfortunately, my hands are greasy with chicken. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get down. I think I'm, I I legit need to go wash my hands, guys. I'm immobile right now. Holy, that was cool. Holy, that was cool. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. That was cool. That was really cool. I need to wash my hands so I can watch that play again. I'm back. I'm back. Set needs to wash his hands of Akali entrails. <sighs> so set red. Let me just say, set red that Akali was going to ult him when he was casting his W and flashed backwards. I didn't even really know that's how his thing worked. I thought when set flashes backwards, it like re-aims his W. Is that not how it works, guys? I thought it re-aimed your W. It doesn't re-aim it, it just, okay. Same angle, oh, okay, it's the same angle. I, I, I see, I, I thought it was different than that. Thank you, I did not know that. Bit of a Lucian angle. Oh, 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 oh! I mean, he's just been, he's just doing Lucian things. He's against the best team comp for Lucian to ever be against. Fucking Rakan, Galio, and Udir. Oh, this is ne oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. dash into him, dash into him. Oh, the spacing, the spacing.
Baker? <laughs> that was funny. That was actually funny. That was actually funny. Wow. <laughs> Wow. I mean, bro. Good bait, good bait. It's Faker. He doesn't need any compliments. It's, it's, it's just, it speaks for itself. It's Faker. <clears throat> Watch more in queue. I need, I need to take a break for the montages right now. I need to take a break. You're tired from watching the video? I mean, the video is fucking sick. All, all those guys' videos are pretty sick. Be hyped to play the game. But those plays only happen one out of every thousand games that you play, you know? I guess maybe you can make it like one out of a hundred. You could grind for like weeks of solo queue in Challenger and only end up with like one of those clips. Just watch my Vlad montage. My Vlad montage would go pretty similarly to, let's see, Kerrigan phase montage. It would be like this. You ready? Let's go. Somebody needs to make this one for League. This is, this is a good beam format. <clears throat> yeah. So good, so good. What is this? Doublelift is lying for free. I don't even, I don't even want to, I don't even want to like, I don't even want to address like a Dom video. Like Dom is just so dumb. Dom and his community is like one of the worst echo chambers I've seen. Like, it's not rocket science, guys. Scion lane swap strategies are common knowledge. I I literally pulled up a five-year-old VOD of us doing it. I did it last year. Everyone was doing it. It's, it is completely well known. I think, Re I think literally Reddit would be able to identify, oh, this is potentially a Scion lane swap draft. That was our song, Barcelona Knights. Released this year, and before that, you heard he's a well known Thorin Dick Rider. I mean, it's just like, why would you even associate with those people? At number 17 is a single we released back in 2016 called Kaleidoscope. I mean, I know that he is like financially tied to them with like similar sponsors and stuff, they do shows together that are like sponsored, right? So <clears throat> How do you feel about all chat being praised in LCS? Honestly, it is entertaining from your perspective. I think as a player, I would like mute it, you know?
because because like I wouldn't participate in it. I would shit talk before or after the game. And I think that's fine, obviously. Like I think shit talking before a game is really funny and add some stakes to whatever you're doing. But I think in the game you should just fully be focused on the game. And I wouldn't get distracted by typing myself or reading what someone else is typing. You know, I, just, I would just block it all out and just focus on the job. What keyboard am I using? Um, I'm using the Logitech Pro 10 keyless. I th Let me see the official name. play a lot of stuff with Pike. Oh god. It's like I could do Kaisa. I can do Smolder. I bring the heat. I'm a Smolder enjoyer right now. I think Smolder is pretty OP. Guys, I don't think Kai'Sa is, is good against Zeri. Unless you're doing the AP build. And this guy said AP. I don't think I'm going to go AP Zeri. AP Kai'Sa against Zeri. Is Smolder back? Yeah, I think he's back. He's so strong. Hands with one of the cancel. Oh, okay. Why is the bottom right? Oh, dude. Dude, don't remind me, please. Don't remind me. It's just like that. Fuck. Okay, you know what? I'm going to ask my graphics artist about this. Graphic designer. I'm gonna message him right now. Unsee it, unsee it, trust me, unsee it. It's better for your mental health. I'm not using the new Logitech keyboard, the 60% if that's what you're asking. I like the 10 keyless, and I just like I'm sticking with what I what I like, but if you if you want a 60% keyboard, you should definitely look into the 68%. The Row X60. They just came out. I tried it a bit yesterday, but personally, I like the F keys. I like having F keys for League. F1 is my shop. And then F2, F3, F4, you know, is like good for looking around the map. Full crit, not vegan Shojin? Bro, Shojin just does too much damage. You can't, you can't fuck around without the Shojin. It's just too OP.
I click to level up my skills. Uh oh. the singles of our legacy album released last year. And before that, you heard Astronomia, which you might know from the Coffin Dance memes that rocked in 2020. We're getting close to the top 10 now. At 14, the next song is Angels, featuring the great kind of style of vocals. Okay. He's starting Raptors. Very rare I see Poppy start Raptors. Full scaling comp? I think they scale pretty well too, but we do have Aesol Small there. This is Team Liquid Bomb, if I've ever seen one. Poppy E, the guy who's running through the wall. Action Rum bot again for the third time in five minutes. Well, we're still winning lane. Can't complain. Pike redeemed himself? I think Pike's been playing really well since the very beginning. Nothing he did wrong at all. I think Poppy and Aesol played the entire like last five minutes.
Nice, you got him. I need to stop making plays until stabilize mid. Honestly, if Aesol just keeps, or if, if Action just keeps spam ganking me, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it because I think I'm good enough to make him waste his time. Not feed him too much. Nice. One. Maybe. Be worse, I don't know. I need some help from somebody. Doesn't have to be mid. Could be jungle.
Didn't get it. Kind of being risky here. Looking for rewards. Scared. Action can just kill me whenever he wants. Nice. Yuffie's smashing top though. Yeah, we get that. <laughs> every every second I breathe on this in this game, I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting fucking swatted. SWAT team is busting down the door. That's surfing, but we're still shitting on bot lane, even though bad things are happening and top lane is smashing as well. Double nukes. Me, the double dragon nukes. I get a red. I missed the cannon. Alright. 
pressure, it's low. I can pressure them to gank me. Wow, fun game, he says. Wow. Top and bottom, we shit on that game. Like... I think... One thing... That will separate you from other players... Is like, how well you can weather pressure... Without falling behind and just making the most out of a bad situation. And like, we fucking smurf that bot lane. I mean, I choked the first kill. I thought my Q was going to kill. Like, I never would have let him live if, obviously, if I if I didn't think this Q was going to kill him. Look at this. I, mean, I thought he was just fucking dead. No, I did. No, yeah. Okay. Why don't I just flash? Ugh, dude, I'm fucking brain dead. I should just flash auto Q. But like, it looks like it'll kill, right? 82? Oh my god, my Q does 77 damage. He lives with 9 HP. Okay. I mean, today I learned, I mean, like, uh, I thought I would kill. I didn't think I'd have to commit. And this happens. Honestly, I could, I could, I could have maybe flash Q'd the Zeri if I... Ah, I should have flash queued the Zeri. Fuck me. The edge. Okay, what happens now? We get him low. We get ganked by Action. We cheese him here. Oh, I played this fight really well. I played this fight really well. I dodged the um the rel Q here. Dodge out of everything. Kill them both. Base. Actron's bot, but we're not gankable. Come bot, we die here. Okay, so one time one time action came bot, it was actually pretty bad. We just died for it. This one is actually mad funny. This one is mad funny. <laughs> he just sent it into the turret. Nice. I'm alive again. Every single time they gank bot. I just don't die. Most important thing. Stay alive. Oh, his E got cancelled there. It, because his E got cancelled, I probably don't need to ult you next time. That was a waste. Oh, so good, man. Pike played so well this game. Played so well. You didn't honor him? Guys, who gives a fuck about honor, by the way? You gotta get the honor level up. True. I just wanna go next game fast. You don't know who's honoring you. 
So it's like, I honor him. He doesn't know if it's coming from his AD mid support or, or AD mid top or jungle. That was our song Fences, also of our Element CP released in 2019. Well, you and can before see? that, we had our old classic song called Heartbeat. It's Wait. It's heartwarming to see it still getting so much love. Really? <laughs> for it to be voted in the top 10. Okay, well, okay. Can, can I go back and see who honored me in these games? Or it only shows you at the very end and not in your match history. I did not know that. See, that's how little I fucking care about about getting honors. I I never knew that. Click add friend, it'll show who honored you. I'm sorry. Add friend? What do you mean? Like, not here, right? Am I stupid? Suggested friends in the lobby. Okay. Sorry. Suggested. Oh, recent, it'll show you who recently honored you. Oh, Pike. Oh, wow. I did not know that, guys. Okay, well, now that there's like a name to it, then I should probably do it, huh? The Pike honored me. I didn't honor him back. I do feel bad. But most challengers don't care about it. At all. Should buy him a Cybertruck as an apology? That might be a, as like a act of revenge. Mid Kaisa, huh? Mid Kaisa actually sounds like it's not that bad. <laughs> oh, Pike, Pike, Pikey, Pikey, Pike. Looks good here. Lots of stuff looks pretty good. Try this though. Killbot, thanks for the five months. Is 800 LP the challenger cutoff? Oof. I can't even find out. There's a website that tracks it pretty well. Let's see here. Deep lol. Let's see. Challenger is 865. Oh no, that's an EOS. Sorry. Wrong server. Challenger is dun dun dun. 742. Let's see here. Where am I at? 742? I feel like I just crossed. Nope, I didn't. Huh? I think I am 
I'm, oh, I'm 765. I'm like barely in the cutoff. Just crossed it. It's the same pike, holy moly. For not honoring him? Holy. Holy shit. away and was one of our first original in 
Damn, my wave is not good. I shouldn't have gotten hit by Jinx W. It was actually pretty big that I did. actually big. like need to make plays happen really painful. Thank you. 
second place. It's still one of our favorite songs in live sets to date. This is Vice Oh, I can't even base, dude. Cancel it all the time. I'm just gonna stay. Might get out, maybe. Wow, okay. Fucking back, maybe. That was a pretty big kill. Comp is pretty good against theirs. I think we can win. Did catch up a lot off of the two kills earlier.
I should have dodged his ult, my W. I guess it's 20 times more useful than her next, yeah. Especially when Renekton fails his D over a wall. Not ideal. Kill him. Killing him, we might all die to. Okay, whatever. Fuck it. Right. Let me die. They TP'd for it and I don't really care about dying there. Nah, you don't win that, do you? Oh, you do, maybe? Nah, you don't. Oh, wow, you do win that. Holy shit, let's go. Wait, that's actually fucking huge. That's actually fucking huge. You win those. Holy shit. We're fucking back. I mean, I do damage now. Managed to get quite a lot off of the last couple minutes.
don't know what Jinx is doing, but she's letting me kill her every fight. Fight this, yeah? The base. Get a vamp scepter and fucking send it. I think my job this fight is gonna be ulting cannon out of the fight if I can. Two and if we don't base. I guess. Like, honestly, not really. Such a shit game.
play, just play. Might win Elder. I can get BT. If Nautilus and not Nautilus, if Kaisa, sorry, Nautilus played well. If Kaisa just stopped like trying to lose, we probably would have won the game. We were on soul point, and she just ran it down mid. Uh, yeah, maybe I should report Kaisa, huh? That was pretty disgusting. It was all for not honoring Pike. The karma hit me in the face. Or KP. Yeah, he was like raging the whole game in chat. I don't even know why. Like what was what was in even chat? like the problem? Yeah, Karth Assault procs for a strike five times. Like, it just... I mean, that's not the right way to think about it, but... First Strike just says when you do damage for the first time in, like, when the cooldown is ready, you gain gold and do a little bit more damage as a percentage of the total damage that you're dealing. So it gives you, like, a buff. It's essentially just a buff. And yeah, Karthus synergizes really well with it because every time he ults with Malignance, it's feeding into his ult, or sorry, it's feeding into his first strike money, and Malignance increases the like times that you will be able to ulti, and gives you more damage when you do ulti. So it's a really strong combo for sure. He must be in loser's queue. That's why he's like raging. Yeah. Wait. He was the Zeri from last game? Nah, I mean, this guy's playing like shit. He has no right to talk. Actually, I kind of want to play Tristana mid. I'll queue AD in mid. Yeah, he was the Zeri. So like, what even happened on Soul? We were actually in a really winning position. I think we could have easily won. It's not like guaranteed or anything, but we're at the turning point of the game where I'm like three items, 
there on soul point. All we have to do is just not die. What is he doing? Like, why can't he just stay with the team and group? Like, stay with us. Ah, it hurts. It hurts to see that, see something like that. Yeah, like the thing, the funny thing is, like, I, I shit on him in the previous game. So I don't even know, like, what he's upset about, really. He just played bad. He's just really mad about Arcarthus. I don't even think Arcarthus is Chinese. I mean, maybe he is, but. Dude wasn't typing at all the whole game. Fuck. After they got Soul, I think it was really impossible to win. But we had a really good chance before then. And I don't know. Renekton is just actually useless. I, I, I don't know why people play Renekton in solo queue. I swear to God, it's like, it just feels good to be ahead in your lane. Especially, uh... When you see that the enemy team is not really diving... I don't really like Renekton. I think it's good. Actually, the champ is pretty strong when they have like melee mid, melee top, melee jungle, melee support. Then you're just like draining from four people. It's pretty good. Oh, he was typing? I don't know. I wasn't paying that much attention to chat, but I just saw what our Kaiso was typing was like unhinged. Renekton does a lot of damage. He also has a lot of winning matchups. I just don't think it's like easy to snowball that in solo queue. I strangely feel like Renekton is a better competitive champ than a solo queue champ. No, this is like some random EDM mix. Progressive House Mix 2018 Volume 6. Actual just a random string of numbers and words. Twenty eighteen is old school. You want the link? This is like some shit I just randomly end up auto-playing. I click on a mix, it just goes to the next and the next. It's pretty chill. Tuggers, thanks for the six months. Welcome back. Much appreciated.
Wait, was that my first loss of today? Fuck, it was. Three and one. Last game just went terribly, terribly. I think I need to ban Pike. That guy's a fucking demon on the Pike. Actually, that game happened in the Ether Realm. It didn't exist. Double F has never lost the game ever. I wish. I wish that that game only happened in my dreams. Only happened in my mind. Okay, never mind. You know what? I'm going to sit up. After champ select, I'm going to sit up. We need to fucking set ourselves up for success. Once you sit up and lean into your monitor, your win rate spikes 10%. That's called elo maxing. Gamer mode engaged, actually, yes. But like, I, I you can't sit up too early. You, you can't always be in gamer mode. It's like a high... It's kind of like when fucking Goku goes Ultra Instinct. I've only maintained this form for so long. I'm a bit of an anime protagonist. Okay, uh, they have Janna, Skarner, and Viego. Fucking Skarner looks so broken, guys. Skarner looks so disgusting. That champ is OP. Here we go Jinx, Lulu. Jinx is pretty good against Janna and Skarner. Draven! Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is a tough matchup. I'm sweating, I'm sweating. I'm sweating right now, guys. Draven is actually fr pretty fucking broken. Against against Jinx, against Jinx. My champ sucks early game. My champ is pretty pretty much focused on scaling up. Do an LPL lane swap? I mean, if we had Scion, then it might be the most basic strategy of all time. But they'll never expect it in solo queue. I'll never see it coming. No one would ever lane swap in solo queue. Yo, we're going exhaust? You're a pussy. You're a pussy. Do I want your leaked scrim bots? <laughs> lean for- yeah, Sorry, game- get, Oh, hold on. Gamer posture, my bad. My bad. We need to lock in. Do you see this posture right now? Slightly leaned in, sitting up straight. This is max win rate posture. I might go 20 0, yeah. I wonder if Skarner can just like fucking go E level 1 and just run at me. That'd be so scary. Like, what if he just, like, eased this way through this wall? Pushes me up against the wall. Stuns me. Go on. Why did they gotta hit Zeri? Well, Zeri is just toxic for the game. I feel like Zeri was failed was a failed design you know like like the mad scientists in the in the you know fiction novels they always have like failed experiments like uh you know just like unstable and just like fucking horrendous experiments and that's what jinx is she never should have been let out of the lab but now that she's out and people bought her skins and stuff, they just have to keep her in the game just for fun. Oh, shit. Okay, 
Okay, I need to focus. Dude, look what you did. You made me start talking about random shit and then I got cheese. Please don't cancel. Please don't cancel me. Please don't cancel me. I'm gonna cry. Yes! No one dies? Somehow, um, Cassidy died. When did that happen? I wasn't paying attention. Down 10 CS, which is pretty rough. Chicken grease on me. run out of mana. That's actually the main problem that I often have when I play Jinx is I don't want to trade too hard. So I'm going to oom. Um. Oh my god, I missed the cannon. Uh. Pretty hard. Don't need to play aggressively. Kill. 
or not oh you did get the smite you're, you're a fucking beast you're a fucking beast pretty passively because I think Viego just finished Krugs and was like around bot. Oh never mind he's top side. Notice that he TP'd behind me. What the fuck? So scary.
Oh my god, are you fucking serious? Dude, this guy turned around at the- Like, what is that, like, random turnaround that he did? Legit at 1 HP and he's turning around. got Drake, right? No, we got Drake. Okay, nice. I, I changed to the wrong gun. Janna is annoying me, walking up so much, but I can't punish because I don't have flash and I think if I go for Janna and Drake will kill me for sure. Exactly, exactly. Saw what? I really don't want to be bought anymore. So much action is happening. Be part of it. Sweeper has been down for a really long time.
A lot of melees actually. I'm gonna go over here. Okay. Does Farner have flash still? Close to Renan's. Saying that we take tower on three male, three range minions because of three grubs. Really strong. Fight Drake for sure. What the fuck? Raven has a Gordon's cashed in his thing? 
And Nico just ran in and died. Uh, these guys are not very useful. Extremely, extremely useless. Why would we not go AP, Nico? Donius is weak against Viego, or what? Our soul land is useless. All useful people in this game is me and here, because like. What is this build? Uh, damage. Alan got solo killed by Skarner. With no ult. Oh, never mind, he killed Diego in their base. Need like a miracle to happen? Me to get like the Lord Doms? I think that's so I can put my buy my last one. Last one doesn't really hurt yet. 
will, but not yet. It takes me so long to kill cast it in. He's got like three tank items basically. I'm the only one on the team that does damage. Talon and Nico and Udyr have to somehow kill Draven for us to win. That's how it feels. fight of the game. Ah. Five, five, mid. solo build on me here. Never mind. Okay. If we had one more Drake, we would actually have this Drake. 
Instead, we just live to see another day. Enjoyers? Nope. Is that not worth it? Read my teammates, I like being there as a ward there. Oopsie. just do anything this game, I would be so fucking happy. It's like five items talent. I feel like you should so easily be able to just get on backline. Oh my god, my W. Fuck. Go up, Aaron, though. Good happen. Flash now. Oh, 
I got so confused at the end there. I got so confused. I thought Draven flashed out of the fight. So I was trying to snipe him. It turns out he stayed in the fight and he got VA'd. Holy moly. Crazy game, crazy game. actually see what happens I thought he flashed left oh he he got GA dude I'm fucking retarded what dude, what I thought he flashed this like it looks like he flashed that wall so I'm like oh he's out I didn't realize he was getting GA he just flashed into the bush I mean, no matter what he does, he's fucked there. Oh, let's go. Damage graphs. Jesus. That's 2k DPM, boys. That might be the fattest fucking DPM I've had maybe in like this season. How does it feel to have a team that actually peels for you? I think that Nico and uh, I think that Nico and Milio played the team fights pretty well. I don't think that Nico was useful because it was AD Nico. He might as well have just built support items like Locket, <laughs> but because he wasn't doing damage, but he was still, he still has Nico's kit. He still has CC. Uh, Would have been better if he had haste though, instead of just like damage, damage, put that in quotes because he had Terminus Bork. Um, but there were a lot of fights where he, he did well to just stand on top of me and uh, not like not really look for anything except for just peeling cast like here, right? Honestly, it's not like he deserves a medal, but I think as far as like useless teammates goes, he's like one of the best useless teammates I've had. Good compliment. That's such a backhanded compliment. Like, yo, dude, you're so dog shit, but out of all the dog shit teammates I've had in my life, you might be top tier. No. Just the build was terrible. I don't think that Nico is like playing bad. Just the build, which makes like, you know, the rest of the game impossible for him. Why not trade boots for six items? Because movement speed is... Movement speed is like really important late game. It's really, really hard to replace. The only thing you could replace boots with is PD. And in that case, what is really the damage that you're getting out of PD? That's actually like a, a tale as old as time in, in a lot of ways. I'll show you guys the, the difference. So like you'll lose a really big chunk of move speed because base movement speed is what all the percentage multipliers um, give you. 
right? So it scales off of base movement speed. So for example, if you have 370 or 360 at the end, all the multipliers add to that. Uh, but if you're back at your base movement speed, which I think in Jinx's case might be 300, might be 315 or something, I don't know. Um, but it'll make all of them less impactful, but you will get a bit of move speed back from Phantom Dancer. You won't get anywhere near as much as Zerker's, but you'll get a bit back. So what do you get? You get overcapped on crit, which is useless. You get 20 AD, and then you get this thing. So compare it to Zerker's that gives you 35% attack speed all the time. You could potentially end up with a total of 20 AD, and let's just add this up to 65. So we're 30 attack speed in 20 AD. I feel like 30, 20 AD to 30 attack speed in a perfect situation where you have full stacks is still not as valuable as I, I, I will just say like 20 AD and 30% attack speed might increase my damage by like less than 10% right? Like how much is that realistically? I have so many attack speed multipliers already. I have so much AD. I think in this game I had, um, I can actually check at the end of the game. How much AD do I have? I have 490 AD. So what is plus 20 as a percentage of that? That's what, like, what, 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 what am I, what am I, what am I doing guys? It's like 4%. 20 AD is, is 4% right? Five, 500, 4% of 500 is 20. So I'm getting 4% more AD. And uh, what was the other thing I said? 35 attack speed. I just don't think it's worth it, right? Like it's such an insignificant amount of damage, but you're losing so much survivability from the move speed, but you're also, you're also losing out on a lot of like chasing power. Like I don't think in this last fight, um, for example, like I, I got a reset. I got a massive multiplier to my move speed. I don't think I catch the Draven here with these Ws. I don't think I'm able to snipe him like this unless I have the extra move speed. It matters a lot. So I guess that's a really long way of saying, I think selling your boots for a, a sixth item is like only worth it if the item is gonna like fundamentally change everything. Like if it's gonna be like a GA against a Z, or if it's gonna be like, I, it's hard. It's, like, it's going to be like a QSS or a Maw against Lissandra. Like it's, it has to, it has to really save your life, or I don't think it's worth it. What about selling Zergus or Swiftness? I don't think that the 10 move speed, the Swiftness, 15 move speed? 10 or 15 is worth 35 attack speed. It's 15 more move speed. I don't think that's worth either. I think Zergus is just really OP. If you look at the cost effectiveness of Zergus, it's like fucking dumb. It goes dummy dumb. 130% gold efficiency. Like. White. Strong. Strong. There should be a move speed elixir. Do you guys remember when you used to be able to upgrade your boots? You used to be able to like do some crazy shit. Oh fuck. I forgot it's 4 p.m. One sec, we will, we will get into a game, but first, hold on one sec. I fucking griefed you guys. I have to do something really fast. Dum, dum, dum. Oh shit. 
I got to do this and add this stream. Um, I can't believe it. I fucking forgot. I just got to do some, I just got to add some stuff for White Claw. So I'm partnering up with White Claw's new 0% seltzer right now. Um, chatbot copy. Yes. Here you go. And there we go. Then I need to pin this. Yes. And I need to put it on a timer. Oh, and I need to make my stream 21 plus because White Claw's an alcohol brand, but they're advertising their 0% alcohol seltzer water. So I don't know why that's necessary, but it is. Corpa. Put this in here. Every 30 minutes. Okay, pretty much done. And I need to do my even my YouTube as well. Okay, got it. Um. I think I'm good. I'm just double checking that I did everything right. Uh, I just need to put the panel on. Fuck. Go to my Twitch. Look mid lane, but I really am just trolling. Whoa! Sit back. What's that noise? Safe. So, double lift needs to be ahead. I also like double lift on the Jinx because as what is the what is going on? What is playing? Have the rain. What is what is what what is playing? Fucking what? random what? YouTube video was playing in my background. Holy shit, the voices. The voices are, are hitting right now. What's... Um, yes. Oh yeah, I got this. Easy. Sorry, one sec. Oh, if I can put this here. Add Imagi. There we go. Like this. Okay, now we're chilling and add a texture image panel. Um, this. Now we are finally good to go. Now you guys know exactly how much work goes into being a streamer. It's it's the toughest job in this world. I'm busting my ass here like a construction worker, doing some crazy hacking. Um, let's queue up. The last thing I need to do is make my stream 18 plus. So that's gonna take me like one sec as well. But big man, the uh, doctor. God damn it! Why? Why would you do this to me? How do I make it 18 plus? Screenshot for reference. Um, content classification. Edit stream content, content. Check drugs, intoxication, or excessive alcohol use in the inbox. What? What a ridiculous, what a ridiculous check mark that I have to put on because I am sponsored by White Claw 0%. 0% alcohol. How is that excessive drinking? Oh well, I guess it's probably just, you know, for some, to be extra safe with the legal stuff. Select content labels. Okay, guys, I guess we're 
Promoting gambling and excessive drinking. Like. Anyways, full disclosure. Um, yep, this stream is sponsored by White Claw 0% alcohol. And um, they just released four new seltzer flavors. Black Cherry Cranberry, Mango Passion Fruits, Peach Orange Blossom, and Lime Yuzu. I'm going to go put them in the background of my stream right now. I'll be back. Oh, Lena's freaking out. Um, wait. Let's see here. No, 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 not already drunk. It's zero percent. Uh, let me break. I just need to go put it. Perfection. You just received a warning? Oh shit. This is getting really adult.
No, they never they never had alcohol. It's just like um, any sort of like hydrating electrolyte like sparkling beverage you know there's there's nothing like nefarious in there <clears throat> let me see here Let's see van senna Fine. i don't need more enemies Wait, what? Does that make my arm look big? No, it doesn't really. I think it's just angles. I'm like that guy that worked out for 10 years to make two years of progress. You know, people, guys out there with also some puny genetics such as myself, you understand. play with Soraka against Pike. This is, uh... Oh, man, this is hard. I guess I have to play something I'm passive ready. like this. They have Exodia comp. They have Exodia comp. I think, uh, I mean, like, we just need to survive. We need to survive and we need to hope that Zach and Lucent are great players. Because if they're not, it's going to be tough. I'm trying to look for what is it? What is like a royalty free? What is like a royalty free music channel? Do you guys know? A good one. Video game BGM. Okay, I'll check it out. I didn't buy a pot. That's okay. Don't need it. I'm already two fucking stacks in. Like, this game is over. Plus 50.
Oops. That was affordable. Matchup so fucking hard. I like that. Thanks, Anna. Oh my God, they're fucking him. Okay, no ignite now. I didn't have to ghost. Lock the flash. I probably shouldn't have let him do that. Me having flash matters a lot. Oh shit, he fast pushes this and takes a plate, huh? Yo guys, plus 50 on that potion. Think about it. Fucking genius. Oh shit, I'm missing Anna though. God damn it. Here we got a random free kill.
Well played by them. But Rocket walking up there was pretty crazy. We knew that Pike was coming bot there. Tried to help him, but I could have just dipped. kind of shitting on us. Fuck, I should have done it differently. Okay. He has way better items than me. Way better. I have Reaver at least. There's some Hopium. the thing I did the ting hiding in the wall when you're getting dove
Wow, Wave Clear is immense. You just need to keep playing well. Yeah, I can ult the next wave if they look dive. Yeah, they're not looking dive. But... Top got soloed? Uh, we don't have mid turret against Pike, bro. That's really sad. Jojin. Let's go, Jojin time. Nice. Oh my god, I even got an extra stack off of him. Stacking hard right now. Okay, wait up guys, just wait. Like we need to relax a bit. We're like pretty easy right now. Glad I moved to the fight instead of farming mid. Ow. Oh, I'm dead! Wait. Fuck. I thought that was gonna be better. God. Oh. Wait. Oh, so close to being good. Hmm. 
Asol gets the stack. Oh, how many stacks did you get for that? Oh, that was close. Yeah, maybe we can win. That's fine. But we're just like pinched and we have no mid turret. Oh, I have exactly the same farm and stack. They got Baron, third Drake too. Defend bases, Perma. I don't think we're gonna win late game, but we'll see. My game is always getting derailed when it comes to stacking. It's kind of what the enemy team wants to do though. They want to disrupt my like efficient game, obviously.
Atheist Tong had what? I can do one of those like uh what's it called? That one guy who had like a 70 fucking minute game against T1. I can just defend the base infinitely. Like beating a late game, yeah, I mean. Who just play with me better though? We tried, we tried. We tried, but like, yeah, it's a bit of a fight gap. I think it was worth playing Smolder. It's just, what what can I even play against Zeri Pike with Soraka? That would be good. Draven, not Draven Soraka. Surely not Draven Soraka. React to the lying allegations. Um, I, I don't want to watch anything that Dom has to say. This guy is just a parasite on the community. Complete moron. Abusing 0% White Claw? Alright, next game I'll abuse it for sure. Mm. 
Rectum, thank you for the prime. Baby, please don't. I've never seen a top Tom Kench as useful as that game. That guy just completely shit on top lane and was like carrying every fight. What do I want to play? Or what do I want to ban, I should say? Damn, they banned my boy's pike. Smart. Smart, did you? I'm thinking Varus is good here with Diego Akali. See matchup first. Ezreal blind says Talon. Kaisa is good. Varus is still really good. Good Jinx, actually. To be I don't really know how Jinx Ezreal goes. I've never played this matchup, really. Really unusual. Usually, Ezreal and Jinx are never met at the same time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nautilus. Nautilus, please. Not. Uh. Fuck. We need to engage. against their champs, not, uh, not Milio. I kind of wish I played Varus. We needed something to start fights with. Diego and Akali can't go in first. They need something else to set them up. Bard is so, so good this game for them.
Oh, it's the first Q. Holy shit. That rock down. Only think about him on the weekdays and weekends, only in the That's sad. Last hit perfectly late here. I think it's still gonna push out.
That hit me. I have perfect money, wow. Pretty rare. I couldn't push there because we're showing mid ganking. Bards in hovering river. Talon's missing. Bad if I tried to contest the wave. You like that shit?
What am I doing? Just wasting time. I need to go back to bot now. Has been based by tier? No, he's probably not gonna have tier this one. Oh, he did. He did base him by a tier. Deadly, this 3 2 that they have, 2 2 that they have. So game is so hard for me because we don't win 2v2 or 3v3 so i'm just like playing on call the entire game Call like defend at 1v2. I'm like deathly scared of ever overextending my lane against Bard as well. My flash is like so important in these fights. I can't lane versus that. Actually, so good being an obnoxious fucker mid. He 
game does feel really AFK. Ow. I'm just getting roasted by these plants. Resting. I'm gonna stay. Fuck it. Dying to plants alone. Oh no. I was kind of worried about this happening in draft. That we have like no engage, so the whole game is just not really easy for us. I mean, they are ranges we have to go in. two drakes as well. We should just fight. I mean, a lot of my games do end up like this where the enemies will attack the drake over and over again. We're getting pushed in though. I think our best chance of attack is to take a 4v4 now. Maybe a 5v5 with TK. Here. Why are probably saying like can't we don't have any tools age? But now I just like feel like it's like a
god, no. Yeah, I don't know when I got blue buff, but that was actually so important that I did. How did I get blue buff? One of my teammates killed while we were fighting and chasing. And the only explanation I can think of. Bard might have had it. Yeah, the Bard might have had it, but I, I barely got out of point of mana. We need to stop the Colonel Stall. Kali just got so emotional, just going in for nothing. Uh, it's always like the most tilted player on your team that is like running in, forcing bias when he just got Baron. If we just reset, we will stop them from having soul, we might win this game, but now they get Infernal Soul. So dumb! So dumb! Like, don't get so emotional and we can win. I 
it's really hard to win. Man, I spent this whole game waiting for this time. Just so I can fight him anyways, even though they have Infernal Soul. Don't think we we're gonna win, but we can try. Shit, Lord Dom's looking good, BT's looking good. Okay, go Lord Dom's. Let's get red. Fight for Nash. Can't fight for Nash, fight for Elder.
still have a chance to get Baron to play for Elder Hard. Played well. GG. Get the Elder and Baron and Soul. Fuck, so close. Maybe I can steal this? No, it's probably dead instantly. Started it, FF. Okay. You'll wait out Elder now, I think. Anyway, I can see us being good. Kali just like raging the entire game while playing like this. Portakali, yeah, like that was definitely reportable. Just like giving up on the game from minute five. Back to back games is 4 0 drags. This one, our bomb matchup is just so bad. They have pushing mid and bottom, so it's hard to stop the first two. I think third and fourth were contestable, but. Some crazy things happened. Oh. Anyways. I think, uh... Now we're done with the White Claw sponsored portion. Um, just gonna read off a few things that White Claw wanted me to let you know about their new... 0% alcohol beverage line. Um, there's four flavors, black cherry cranberry, mango passion fruit, peach orange blossom, and lime yuzu. They are here in the background, uh, looking kind of spiffy. And it's a new way to drink. They taste refreshing, um, delicious, made with hydrating electrolytes, basically just, uh, you know, you guys have had those kind of zero, like those, those kind of carbonated like seltzer beverages before. Um, it is a one-of-a-kind premium seltzer for adults that tastes, feels, and looks as real as an alcoholic drink without the alcohol. And it was made from the ground up non-alcohol, so it's not a lesser version of anything else. So it's not just like a uh, pre-made something else that they've taken the alcohol out of. It is about half 
it, uh, sorry, excuse me. It has about half as many hydrogen electrolytes as you'd find in something like Gatorade, but only two grams of sugar and only 15 calories per can. And White Claw 0% alcohol is a way to enjoy more adult drinking get togethers, whether you're pacing yourself during a night out with friends or just taking a break from alcohol. White Claw 0% provides a delicious, low calorie, hydrating, non alcoholic choice that doesn't make you seem like an outsider. All right. Thank you, White Claw, for sponsoring the stream, and we will get back to some League of Legends. Be back. Jinx John. Um, bum 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 I play Seraphine? Holy shit. I'm disgusting. I'm not gonna play Seraphine. Fuck that. Dude, this draft is so fucking cursed. Oh my god. I don't want to play with Sona. Fudge muffins. This is like a zero CC team comp we have. The only person who goes in in this entire game is... Is, uh, is Rengar. Like, basically Vlad has, is going to have a horrible time as well. Is there a way you can support me directly? I mean, if you're gonna get him, I will. Uh, you can click the link under in the stream or in the pinned comment of the stream. Is there still a pinned message? I don't know, but just look under if there's not a pinned message still. This would be a click, like a, a link to the site that tracks for me.
Oh shit. Aiko in Japan is proxying us level one. Sweet Jesus. You need to be killed. Oh fuck, I'm missing a lot of creeps though. It's actually paying off for him. Mostly because I stink. God, I am missing so much CS.
Who wins this matchup? Probably Jinx. Actually, no, I think Smolder Sona might be better. Sona's really good against Janna. Flash the tornado. So sad. Our jeweler is useless. Ah, fuck it. This is my last game no matter what. I keep playing these games like they're just so miserable. How am I even supposed to play if like... Okay, shit, that happens. These games are unplayable. Straight up, they are unplayable. There's no world where, like, somebody can carry this kind of play. Oh, I'm one CS off of Michael. Unlucky.
Rengar jumped on the ward. I don't even know what happens. I mean, like, yeah, they could have played it def differently, but it's just, like so fucking annoying that we're fighting. The like, there's only one guy who doesn't have flash in this situation. It's their AD carry. It's their AD carry. You just blew it. You just blew it by like suiciding in the turret. Let's like take advantage of the fact that their ADC has no flash. I don't know what else we can do except for take advantage of their ADC having a flash. Now it's just fuck doomed. Not gonna win. Dude, wh wh where's Vanguard going? Why don't we just dive bots? Why don't we dive bots? Missing Sona ulti. That's oh, okay. It's hard to go for it. Okay. I'm with that. Fight. I don't care what happens. Just fight to the death. Um, fight, Sona plus Rengar, ult. <laughs> Don't gank for Zeri. <laughs> Big idea. We prob don't kill Hurricane Rush Zeri lane. We <laughs> We have fucking Sona ulti against Jinx, non-escape ADC. I just like, I don't understand why our Rengar is just permanently humping this fucking Zeri Silas matchup. What is going to happen if you kill him? It's so troll. I wish I could get gifted free wins the way this guy has. Ganking the fucking Garen! <laughs> we're 
fucking ganking the Garen. Like, just open, dude. Okay, wait, hold on. Hold on. There, cook a bit. This game is so miserable. Ring on repeat. Oh, they don't get gold on mid tier 2 something. They're gonna stack their drakes, you know? Gonzalez.
Nice. And I got caught. Was a completely unplayable game. I will now end the stream, go to the gym, do something other than play NA Solo Q where I play games like that. That was insane. Alright, GG's guys. I'm out. I will probably stream tomorrow. Yeah, I'll stream tomorrow actually. Like almost 100%. 4-4 today, not too bad, but holy shit, the last two games were just disgusting. Peace out, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, the winners see you tomorrow.